by and the next person that walks by. Panhandling is not approved by the city. Okay, the next person that walks by, I will ask you for that. Do you want to get in trouble? Do you want to get, get sued? Oh yeah everybody, this is Recognizing Our Rights, back at it again with another video for you all. And this particular interaction comes from Anir Oath, who as per usual when holding the God Bless the Homeless Veterans sign, gets a bunch of Karens that have problems with them holding such sign. Like, why? What is the issue with him holding a sign that says God Bless the Homeless Vets? But with that being said, we will leave links down below to his channel and full original video. Therefore, we'd love to see you go subscribe to Honor Your Oath and let him know that we said hello. And be sure to stay tuned on his channel for more interactions like this one. Yes, I'm calling from the North Branch Library in St. Pete. Um, I just have an issue with a man um, soliciting in front of the oh, library. I know it's not an emergency, but he's standing like right in front of the library doors with a sign that says that he's homeless. And I told him about our rules of conduct. I showed him to our rights. He refuses to move to what we call a free speech area, which is the side. He's actually blocking the entrance. And some people are afraid to walk by something like that, although he is very polite. He's not doing anything, but I wondered, it's not a very important yeah, thing if someone could come by and sense. explain to him that the entrance to the library is not um, a public access property for him to stand with the sign, it's to come in and out of the library. We can have someone come out there. This is at 861 Thank you. That's right. Does he have any weapons with the work that you've seen? Not that I can see. And he's, he's a nice man. I, I don't need to cause a problem, but I said, if he can't move to the free speech area, I'm going to have to call the police. You really can't stand in front of a building. We have a code against that. There are places we can send you to help you. You um, want to take that? Yeah, I'll take that. But see, we have a code of contact. No soliciting or, or on library property and that sort of thing. Well, I'm going to have to try to dispute with you. Well. What time do you guys do? I'll stay out here for about six. You can't say you have to six. I'll have to call the students if you do that. Why would you do that? It's against our policy. And if I let you do it, I chase away other people who are doing other things. It's not just you. It's not because you say you're homeless. It's well, you, not. If you, Probably. why don't you go by this chair, by the, by the bench? Uh huh. Because that's not directly in front of the building, and if I don't see you, then I don't have to know about it. I just, I get more traffic here. I get access uh, to more people. Okay. Well, if you're going to argue with me, then I'm going to have to do something about it. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to argue with you. No. You go to another library. You get his input. Uh huh. You can't, you can't make it here right now. We have this free speech area where we okay. let people with petitions, we let people with their stuff that they want to hand out, and it has to be not at the egress of the library. So this is considered blocking. Some people don't want to walk by someone with a sign. They're library I, people. They're here to look at books. It's public property. There's nothing no, they no, can do about it. No, no, no. You're not allowed on our sidewalk. You could be on public property by the bench or public property over there. This is not public property. This is entrance to the library. It is public property. No, it's not. Pu library so, property is a public property. No, it isn't. So I'm not going to argue with you. Okay. You know, I'm not allowed to do it. My only other option, if you won't move to the free speech area, I have to call the police. Okay. Well, I have a right to be where I'm standing. All right. Okay. And I'm going to stay here. I'm not arguing. Peacefully and politely. Uh -huh. No, you're very polite. Yeah. That's not the problem. That's not the problem. Why are you here? God bless the homeless nature, sir. Why are you here? Why am I here? Yeah. I'm saying God bless the homeless Why are you here in the library? Because it's public and I'm spreading the message of love to everybody that comes and goes. We have all kinds of programs. I can't hear what you're, I'm seriously hard of hearing. I can't hear what you're We have all kinds of programs to help people that need money, housing, and all that stuff. Why don't you apply for any of those? I'm just standing here saying God bless the homeless veterans, sir. And I'm staying until about six o'clock. Yeah. Why don't you apply for any of those programs? I don't need to. Arena? You don't, I don't need, need to. to. No, sir. I do not need to. Your name is Officer Miranda. Mm -hmm. My name is Jeff. Okay. Is your body People camera? think that you're asking for money. Is your body camera recording? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Officer Gardena. Jardina. Yes, sir. Jeff. My name is Jeff. Nice to meet you. Your body camera recording. Okay. People think that you're asking for money. I'm just standing here saying God bless the homeless veterans. As long as you're not asking for money, I don't have money with that, but again, people think that you're asking for money, so they're calling the cops. That's why. I'm not. Okay. Same 
and God bless all his family. Even if I was, there's nothing y'all can do. Oh, if you're asking for money, there is something we okay, can do. Well, the next person I walk by, panhandling is not approved by the city. Okay, the next person I walk by, I will ask for money. Do you want to get in trouble? Do you want to get get sued? For what? For violating somebody's rights. It's a, it's a civil right to ask for money. Do you understand that panhandling is not authorized in the city? Panhandling is absolutely authorized by the Supreme Court of the state of Florida, oh, as a matter of fact. Oh, the Supreme Court of the state of Florida. Hey, so you're here just to cause problems. I'm here to say God bless all those veterans okay, and stand up for all over rights. that and what did I tell you about it? What did I tell him about that? But then you said that as long as I'm not asking for right? money. And that's also, that's and also. And then I told you you're here because people think you're asking for money. Right. And then you said as long as you're not asking for money. Alright. And then what I, did you I please you have say? some money. God bless the homeless veterans. <laughs> okay, right oh, now, boy. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Of course these tyrants and Karens combined will try to spin it on your oath trying to say that he's panhandling. Now don't take anything we say as legal advice, but even if he was quote unquote panhandling, according to ACLU-WA.org, it states the following, does the First Amendment protect panhandling? Yes. As the Willis Court explains, the US Supreme Court has held that the First Amendment covers charitable appeals for funds. Because of this, panhandling, solicitation, or begging are protected speech under the First Amendment. Therefore, they cannot get him for panhandling, because it's protected under the First Amendment. And of course, I also have to bring up the fact that the Karens stated that On Your Oath was blocking people from going in and out of the library. Now, I want you to go back to that video and just tell me, do you see any instance of On Your Oath doing such a thing? Yeah, I figured. I don't see it either. So the cops end up talking to the lady inside, and they try to solicit a trespass against On Your Oath. And while they do succeed at first at doing so, well, I'll tell you what happens towards the end. No. Hi, I'm the person who calls. All right. So it's, I know it's not a big deal, but I asked him twice politely. I showed him our code of conduct where it says, no soliciting. I mean, you know, and I, we gave him a card that's supposed to help him, places he can go. You know, I said, if you need help, he has this. I said, but you, you can't block the entrance to the library. We have this free speech area by the bench. You can hold your sign there as a wave from the egress, mm -hmm. and that would be perfectly fine. He was very polite, yeah. very polite, um, not at all nasty. But he said, well, I prefer being here because I run into more people. I said, I know, because this is where they come in and out, and you're standing in their way. He was like, right here. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, and some people are afraid to walk past somebody holding a sign. And, he, and I said, you're a big guy. If you could just move over, that's your option. Move over. Or I have to call the police because you're not following our code of conduct. We explain it to him. He doesn't want to know. He's very, he said, I politely disagree. I said, well, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What's your name? Uh? My name is Sharon Coppola, C-O-P-P-O-L-A, and I'm the branch manager. Mm -hmm. You run the branch, right? Yes. Said, so you can get in trespass if you want. Yes. Okay. Yes. K-I-M-S-E-Y. Do you want me to get a trespass warning? 27. If they're trespassing me, I'll leave. I don't want to be arrested. No, no, that's the last one. Who was time. actually trespassing me? Who's giving the direction? What's up? Who's doing it? The, uh, the manager in there. Who's the manager? Um, she runs the man. Yeah, she runs the branch. Yeah, yeah. Right, so they're trespassing me? I have to fill. I have to fill out the trespass form and get all that squared away. Okay. Um, okay. Later. Let me grab my camera. Okay. This is as this is a constitutionally protected activity safeguarded by the First Amendment. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, public property standing underneath the American flag. And you still have to obey the rules of the city of Four or five Sunday. days away from uh, you live here in Sunday? Independence Day. Yep. No? From the 70s. And the city ordinances before you get in Because right now... The city ordinance does not have the constitution. You swore an oath to uphold the Are you here in Sunday? Am I here in Sunday? Yeah. Here in the temple. How is it? Not if it's on constitution. Alright. Well, they're asking you to leave. So I'm late. Congratulations, gentlemen. Take care, Jeff.
You know, if these cops were really able to trespass people from public property, I don't think that this letter from Laura Rowe, the police legal counsel, would have even come to honor your oath, which states the following. Mr. Gray, thank you for your correspondence. I have reviewed your request for an appeal hearing. As no trespass warning was formally issued by the officers, there is nothing to appeal. You may continue to exercise your rights in public spaces in the city. Laura Rowe. And I gotta say, I really gotta give kudos to that public servant. She did well in sticking up for on your oath's rights. Now, I did state before that I could not find any court cases on soliciting trespasses. And I don't know if this particular one strictly has anything to do with soliciting a trespass, but it has to do with trespassing on public property. But in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, there's a court case known as Vincent v. City of Sulphur. In this particular court case, it started off when Carol Vinson allegedly threatened public officials at a local bank. Next thing you know, the police show up and end up trespassing this person from every single city property within the city of Sulphur, Louisiana. But after the district attorney determined that the allegations did not support prosecution, police lifted the order. Claiming civil rights violations, Vincent sued Sulphur Police Chief Lewis Coates, Officer Chester Gramillion, and Glenn Martin in the city under 42 U.S.C. 1983. The district court held that the officers were entitled to qualified immunity as to the majority of Vincent's claims. The court denied qualified immunity, however, on Vincent's procedural due process and direct municipal liability claims concluding that issuance of the no trespass order without notice and an opportunity to be heard violated Matthews v. Eldridge. What Vincent v. City of Sulphur is essentially saying is that police officers cannot trespass you from public property without you committing a crime. At least that's the way I'm perceiving this particular court case. But considering that particular court case and the fact that there was no trespass issued against on your oath and he was able to move freely in public property again in the end of this, I consider this a successful audit. However, some of you may think differently compared to me, and some of you may have different interpretations of that particular court case I just named for you. We are highly interested to know what you think of this in the comments section down below, but what would be even more important is for you to go subscribe to Honor Your Oath and let them know that we said hello. Make sure to stay tuned on his channel for any more videos like this, as links to his channel and the full original video will be put down below for all of you to witness. Thank you all for tuning in, and just remember to never stop loving the Constitution.